Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, first video, doing European Outlook for today's first video. So, as always on a Thursday, we have a look at the weather for the next week in detail uh, for Europe, and I shall get on that for you. Uh, very sure to just say that the European Outlooks are YouTube exclusives, so uh, they're not embedded to Gavs or Webbies.com. means that if you want to see these uh, videos, you will at least be subscribed to our channel. And uh, click the bell, and that will tell you uh, when we are releasing uh, these, or YouTube will tell you when we're releasing uh, these uh, videos every Thursday. We're going to have a 10 to 14 day uh, coming up with all our regular features, and that will be with you later on uh, this afternoon. Right, so uh, let's do it then. Uh, we're going to start off with the uh, situation across Europe today. So uh, here we go, then. This is for Thursday, 25th of February. High pressure is dominating behind high and dry across uh, many parts of uh, Europe with a large Ridge extending in from the west uh, towards East Europe. Low pressure is to the north with, with uh, a westerly flow. A rare temperatures look like that, very mild through most parts of uh, Europe, uh, a swathe of very mild up rare temperatures, all the way from Spain and Portugal in the southwest, right way up to uh, western parts of Russia. It's pretty mild now with up rare temperature anyway over Scandinavia. It's actually a little bit cooler uh, across northern and western parts of uh, Britain and Ireland. But uh, generally some mild scene through most parts of Europe today. A lot of dry weather and about ridge of high pressure as well. Some showers uh, are down in the far southwestern corner, particularly focused on Portugal also uh, moving into Bay of Biscay into uh, northern parts of uh, France. A little bit of uh, rain which turns to uh, across Scotland which turns to snow as it pushes into uh, Norway. A few snow showers in the far northeast. But otherwise the emphasis is on dry weather today with that big ridge of high pressure and mild too. Look at these temperatures widely into uh, double digits across most parts of Europe. These are temperature scales. So when you've got those yellows to, to dark yellows, you're sort of going into mid to upper teens. Celsius, some places you could well get to around 20 degrees, I would have thought today. Um, so yeah, really from the med all the way up to uh, Germany. Of course, it turns cold as you get up into Scandinavia, especially central northern parts of Scandinavia and into uh, northwestern Russia as well. But it's a mild scene for most parts of Europe today. Uh, right, high pressure uh, starting to take over uh, from tomorrow across the uh, west of Europe in particular. But at the same time, this trough of low pressure in the northeast could bring some uh, renewed uh, cold air into Baltic uh, regions and the northeastern part of uh, Europe. Upper air temperatures look like that. Still very mild uh, for most parts of Europe, really, especially so for, for southern uh, areas. Uh, and again, up into the eastern side of Europe, too. Out in the northwest is, is a little bit cooler. Cold as begin to dig back in to parts of uh, northern and western Scandinavia. There's a lot of dry weather on offer tomorrow. Some heavy showers, maybe a little bit thundery across uh, northern parts of France. Um, a few showery bursts from uh, Germany through to Poland. Some snow in the very far north uh, of Scandinavia into western Russia. But otherwise, again, the emphasis is on dry weather. Some heavy showers down across southern parts of Portugal. Temperatures uh, tomorrow look like that. Quite cold across northern Scandinavia and into the northwest of Russia, but otherwise it's a pretty mild scene uh, in most areas, especially so, again, for many southern parts of Europe with temperatures widely into the upper teens or low 20 Celsius. Saturday, we'll see high pressure increasingly taking over across western parts of uh, Europe, but the ridge does extend over towards eastern areas as well. A rare temperature is becoming a little bit colder in the uh, far north and east of Europe, but otherwise pretty mild with those uh, upper rare temperatures, especially, again, for more southern parts of uh, Europe. Loads of dry weather to come uh, on Saturday as well, with that ridge extending uh, across Europe. So, so you see most places are dry, some heavy snow through central northern parts of uh, Norway, especially mountainous regions. But, but the emphasis is on dry weather for the vast majority of uh, Europe on Saturday. Temperatures are becoming a little bit colder across Scandinavia and into northeast Europe, going sub zero uh, again, even quite a way south. So even in southern parts of Norway, we might see uh, the temperatures struggling to get much above freezing. Uh, coldest in the far north northeast into northwest of Russia. Um, cooler, just generally a few degrees cooler, I think, through most parts of Europe. You have to go down, like, into the Med, where you expect to find the, the warmth. You have to go uh, there to find it uh, on Saturday. So the temperature's just easing off a little bit. Probably colder nights appearing as well at about ridge of high pressure. Big ridge of high pressure uh, for Sunday. This is the last day of February and the last day of meteorological winter, of course. Big ridge of high pressure dominating the weather uh, across Europe on uh, Sunday. A rare temperatures are generally mild, really, through, through most parts of Europe, no problems there. The coldest weather is in the far east and the northeast. Uh, and about reach of high pressure, as you expect, there's a lot of dry weather 
on offer again uh, on Sony Murphy Plenty and Sony Shy, but there could be some uh, dense fog patches around in places too. Temperatures again just a couple of degrees down uh, in most areas, but mildest temperatures will again be across southern parts of Europe. But even there, even into the Mediterranean, probably just seeing the temperatures sliding back more towards uh, mid teens Celsius as opposed to upper teens or low. 20s and pretty cold across Scandinavia and uh, northeastern parts of uh, Europe. Uh, Monday, high pressure just begin to drift more towards the eastern side of Europe, really, but still extending the ridge over into uh, the west as well. So the emphasis remains on dry weather. Upper air temperatures still looking generally mild in uh, most areas. Coldest upper air temperatures are in the far east and southeastern corner now. A lot of dry weather to come. Still some showers, uh, particularly around Portugal, some parts of Spain. A little bit of snow, uh, perhaps pushing through uh, parts of the uh, Black Sea into uh, northern Turkey. A little bit of snow for parts of Norway and up into Sweden as well. Snow, snow showers around uh, northwestern Russia. But again, see, the emphasis is on dry weather in most areas on Monday. High and dry, uh, really. Uh, temperatures look like that. So uh, northern Europe looks a little bit on the cold side. Um, generally mild. Uh, through southern parts of Europe and becoming milder again through uh, France. Those milder temperatures probably starting to extend up in towards Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, maybe western parts of Germany and possibly into uh, parts of the uh, United Kingdom and Ireland uh, as well. Possibly seeing the temperature back up into mid-teens then. Uh, Thursday, high pressure is over on the eastern side of Europe. We're drawing up a southerly wind on the west of west side of Europe that will bring uh, milder temperatures back up from the south again through the west of Europe. So, if anything, early next week it probably gets milder through France and into parts of uh, particularly central southern England and Wales. Those milder upper air temperatures are extending into southern parts of uh, Scandinavia, Norway, and Sweden, and into, Derm uh, into Denmark uh, as well, and through Germany. Uh, precipitation wise, on uh, Tuesday, again, some snow from northern parts of Scandinavia. Heavy showers or thunderstorms may be starting to kick off uh, around Greece. A um, few showers still left across Spain and Portugal as well. A band of rain just threatening uh, Ireland. Again, though, the majority of Europe will be dry on at 30. It's a very quiet scene that we're in at the moment. Pretty mild, especially on the western and southwestern side of Europe. Most mild temperatures are extending up west side of Europe with time. Cold in the far north, and some of that cold rays begin to filter down into the extreme uh, northeast as well. That is Wednesday, where we're looking at a lot of dry weather. Again, it's, yeah, things kind of rinse repeat uh, in uh, the weekend, don't you? So a lot of dry weather and high pressure on Wednesday. Just perhaps going more and south across Scandinavia. This area of low pressure could bring some heavy and significant snow in central and northern parts of Scandinavia. Upper air temperatures are still looking uh, really mild through, through most areas, but, but much colder upper air temperatures beginning to push out of the Arctic in towards uh, the Norwegian Sea. That might start to threaten some much cold weather in Scandinavia later next week. But the majority of Europe on Wednesday is looking uh, mild and dry. Heavy snow will push into uh, Scandinavia, though, push through Norway and possibly on into uh, Sweden as well. Uh, that's probably heavy rain around Denmark. Uh, patchy uh, rain through uh, parts of the UK and uh, Ireland and down to northern parts of France. Some heavy showers from northern Spain. Again, the vast majority of Europe looking dry. On Wednesday, temperature-wise, it's getting colder uh, across the far north into uh, particularly northern parts of uh, Scandinavia down into Finland as well, around those Baltic Sea areas. I think we'll start to get colder through the middle of next week. But otherwise, it's a mild scene, uh, especially so across more western areas. Temperatures widely into the low to mid-teens Celsius. And then that's Thursday, uh, a week today. So so cold northerly is beginning to set in uh, through Scandinavia. A cold northerly plunge coming through uh, there. That brings some heavy and significant snow into Scandinavia. Uh, the ridge beginning to break down as well through more central uh, parts of Europe, I think, uh, as the high pressure begins to pull out more towards the uh, northwest of Ireland and the UK. Cold air is surging back into Scandinavia and jerking into inch some cold air into the far north of Scotland as well. Well, otherwise, though, many parts of Europe looking dry and uh, mild again, or I should say mild, with upper air temperatures on Thursday. It's turning more south as that ridge is breaking down, so most of this is going to be snow, uh, of course, across northern parts of Europe. Outbreaks of rain uh, developing through uh, Germany into the low countries, down into France, might turn into rain or thunderstorms, then Spain and Portugal. 
And that will mark the boundary as the cold air begins to start digging in uh, from the north. Many southern and eastern parts of Europe looking mainly dry. Temperature-wise, you see it is getting much colder across Scandinavia, beginning to cool down into uh, Scotland as well. But most parts of Europe are still generally uh, mild or very mild uh, on Thursday, especially so down the Mediterranean with widespread temperatures into the upper teens uh, Celsius through the Mem. Just run you on up to day 10. Uh, so this is Friday uh, next week, 5th of March. So cold air across Scandinavia plunging into the northeast of Europe. Uh, then, otherwise staying reasonably mild out across central and western areas. The ridge breaking down all the time, though. This is Saturday. Ridge slipping further south as deep low pressure forming in the Atlantic. And by day 10, which is certainly the 7th of March, actually turning rather stormy uh, across the northwest of Europe and beginning to get cold as well. As cold air begins to dig back in from the north on the backside of this low pressure, we might even bring some snow back into Ireland and the UK. Uh, and, and of course, Scandinavia looking very cold at this point and into north northeastern parts of Europe as well. And even across southern Europe, we will see cooler air beginning to dig south as this high pressure starts to pull out into the middle of the North Atlantic. Winter may well not be done uh, yet, even in the UK. Heads up about what we're going to say in today's uh, 10 to 14 day, perhaps. Right, so that's it for this week's uh, European Outlook. We're going to be back later on with our 10 to 14 day, so come back back then. If you have enjoyed this uh, uh, this forecast for Europe, then please smash the like button. Let us know in the comments what you think, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell, and you'll be notified uh, when we release these uh, videos every first. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day. Come back for that then. For this week's European Outlook, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.